has closed the gap. But this is a 40-foot climb. It is a killer. Oh, my. You better use your guns right here. But Josh Look Levin. Look at this beat climber. What, are you kidding me? in America. Oh, my goodness. You're talking about making up time. Wow. What's up again, American Ninja Warrior? This is Josh Levin. I'm 23 years old, and I'm coming at you once again from beautiful Sunnyvale, California. This will be my third season competing on American Ninja Warrior, and I'm ready to show you why this year will be the year I take down the mountain on American Ninja Warrior Season 10. Last year, I proved my breakout rookie season was no fluke. I completed the city qualifiers for the second year in a row, completed the city finals for the second year in a row, and advanced to stage two for the second year in a row. Following the regular season, I competed in the Super Salmon Ladder competition, becoming the youngest and the fastest ever to complete it during my run. I also had the honor of representing Team USA once again this year on Ninja Warrior Indonesia's first international tournament. During the competition, I broke speed records on the second and third stages and had an amazing time competing alongside some of the top ninja athletes in the world. However, my biggest accomplishment by far from last year was graduating from college. With my degree under my belt, I turned down an offer from Apple and hit the road to spend the rest of the year traveling and competing for the U.S. national climbing team. In just four months, I traveled to over a dozen countries across Africa, Europe, and Asia. It was an incredible journey that I was able to cap off by making my first ever World Cup finals in speed climbing. This achievement showed me that hard work and dedication really does pay off and that my dream of qualifying for the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo is well within my grasp. Unfortunately, at the very next competition, disaster struck. I smashed my left hand into an obstacle, breaking the fifth metacarpal. I got surgery again and had to take another three months off of training. I was devastated. However, during my time off, another opportunity presented itself. One of my former teachers reached out to me to ask if I wanted to be a guest instructor for his middle school physics class. The theme of the class this year? American Ninja Warrior. How could I say no to that? Over the next semester, I Skyped in to teach lessons, helped the kids design their own obstacles, and even made a surprise guest appearance at a local ninja gym. Working with the kids was a truly incredible experience that showed me that my passion for Ninja Warrior and physics could be combined in a positive and impactful way. Now that I've recovered from my injury, I'm back and training harder than ever. Over the past three years of competing on American Ninja Warrior, I've gained a lot of experience and become a faster, stronger, and smarter athlete. I'm finally ready to take all that experience and use it to get me to the top of Midoriyama. 